I'm Linda Lister, and in this Yoga for Singers video, we'll talk about various poses that can help relieve shoulder tension. Singers naturally create a lot of shoulder tension in their well-intentioned efforts to stand up straight to keep you know, their, sh their sternum high and their shoulders rolled back. What happens often is the shoulders creep up, we create tension here in the shoulders that goes up the neck and around the larynx, so never ever thinking of tension there. So some easy stretches that you can do, some yoga stretches are awesome. Let's start with cow face. Now for cow face, what you're going to do is you're going to lift one arm straight up in the air and bend at the elbow. Then the other arm reaches behind that elbow and you attempt with your fingers to touch each other to reach. They may not, that's fine. If they don't, you can hold a yoga strap or a sweater or whatever. It's not ab about whether your fingers actually touch, it's the stretch that reaching for the fingers will help you attain. Again, more important to have the fingers not touch, that you bend after touch, and to be stretched over if you can't not do the posture for singing or for anything. So, so cow face, you can do that here, to the other side, and then fingertips attempting to touch, maybe they will or not. You could do the traditional cow face leg if you want to cross the knees. But again, you can just cow face arms, you could sit here and half lotus or whatever feels good for you. So it's trying to warm up and trying to stretch the shoulders. Now, here's a variation on a pose you may know called eagle pose, which is normally done standing, but we'll do it here seated, so we'll just do the eagle arms. So for me, when I get tense shoulders, it's really right, it's right up as far as you can go that I feel like I can never stretch and do it, except maybe in this pose. So for eagle, you're gonna take one arm, so for instance, now let's take the left arm underneath, and cross the elbow. This may be enough of a stretch for you. I feel wonderful lengthening of the shoulder blades here, widening. If you can, you bring your palms to touch, but that doesn't strain or doesn't pull anything. And then if you can, if you want to go even further, if you need more of a stretch, you can lift the elbows a little bit. So these are eagle arms. It takes a little bit of getting in there. So let's try the other side. So this time, right arm underneath. So we've got the elbows here. Then that might be all you do. Maybe you just line up the hands. If you want to try to close the position and have the palms touch, then you can do that. And again, you can lift. Oh, the scapula. Nice release there. So cow face into eagle arms. So you're stretching back and then forward. So we're trying to get both directions here with the shoulders. Familiar spinal stretch, which is also good for the shoulders, would be the cat and cow pairing. So when you do cow pose, you look up at the ceiling and drop your belly as you inhale, and then you exhale into cat, you round the spine. For me, oh, cat is such a wonderful stretch. I try to do it at different angles so you can see here. So for cow, again, looking at the ceiling, belly hanging, and then you go from that arch into a round, that oh, lovely stretch here on the shoulders. Now to take that, Further, let's do thread the needle from child's pose. So child's pose itself is a wonderful shoulder stretch. If you leave those arms out really far, nice open palm, and you rest just in back here on your haunches, it's a child's pose. This should be a great shoulder release. But if you want to try to challenge or stretch even further, let's try thread the needle. So take the left palm, face up underneath the right arm. So here again, trying to help that rotator cuff, which again for me gets quite tense unfortunately from the stress of life. And then if you want to stretch this shoulder, you could try a bind. So we take the right arm around and maybe try to find the top of the left thigh. So I'm stretching the shoulders in different directions here. Oh, it feels so good. Blood is flowing to these areas. Energy and prana placing tension and rigidity. So let's try the other side. So again, from child's pose. This time we're going to take the right palm underneath and thread the needle. And if you want to add the bind, the left arm's going to reach around. Looks like a pretzel contortionist pose, but it feels good, I promise. And again, you have to listen to your body for your variation on the pose. So keep it 
rotating, opening, rounding. Now, of course, you can't talk about stretching the shoulders without talking about shoulder stand. Not everyone's favorite pose, which is fine, but some people love it. Uh, before we do shoulder stand, I'll give you an option in case that's just not your, your bag of tricks that you want to try. So, bridge pose. To do bridge pose, you lie on your back, your heels really close to your buttocks. Spinal alignment pose. But if you really want to get the shoulder stretch, the thing to do is clasp your fingers underneath and then try to roll onto your shoulders here. So again, really releasing the shoulder joint as well as opening the ribs, keeping that sternum high. All wonderful things for singers here. Make sure you're still breathing. Sometimes it can be hard to breathe or it feels different to breathe in some of the poses. So you could just do bridge like that. If you want to do the full-blown shoulder stand, just remember, do not twist your neck. Don't look. So look, watch the video first and then try it. We don't want you twisting your, your delicate singer's throat here. So for shoulder stand, you can do it against the wall if you want. So I'm going to get close to the mirror here. Come into L pose with your feet. L pose here above you. And then you walk your hands up your back as far as you feel comfortable, but trying to get as straight up and down as you can. And you could, again, use the wall for support. If you don't like shoulder stand, if you want to go into plow, another option. And the wonderful thing about shoulder stand is it's very good for focus, for calming the mind, centering the mind. All this blood is rushing to the brain, helping you remember your lyrics. You can do variations with the legs, you could do abdomen, you could do a split, either way that you feel that you want to try. Carefully, gently coming out of that shoulder stand. And you'd probably want to do the counter pose, which is fish. You could do it with, again, your feet in a diamond pose, or your legs straight. You have those elbows right in close to the rib cage rolling onto the crown of the head. No pressure on the neck. Your arms are holding you up here. And then a release. So shoulders, which can get so tense, waiting around backstage to, to make your entrance, to make your concert appearance, your audition. It's just so easy for these shoulders to want to ride up and lock. So just feel the poses to help release so that you don't feel like Atlas of the world on your shoulders there. So just some yoga for singers, ideas, some stretches to release shoulder tension, and thank you for joining me. Time went away.